Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, today, y'all, it's going to be kind of cold and rainy the next, not cold, but kind of rainy the next few days here in Texas. That's in my part of Texas and a lot of a part of the country. So I'm going to and I'm going to make me some oxtail soup. Not braised oxtail, not smothered oxtail, but real oxtail soup with, uh, okay, I'm going to have, uh, if y'all don't see right there, I got uh also I'm gonna add uh carrots and potatoes to this. So I'm gonna have all these items in this soup. The soup tastes about, oh you can call it steam soup. It ain't gonna be thick like no uh like no stew. It's gonna actually be like a like a a real soup. So yeah. So uh let me get started here because this is a long process, not cooking it. Not uh, a lot, it's not a lot of steps, but the braising part is a long step. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season these really good on both sides here. Get my cabinets down, my shake here. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on here. My salt and pepper, and I got my Dutch oven here heating up, heating up real good. I mean, this inspired me when I was in Vegas. Y'all see when the videos come out, y'all probably saw some of the pictures. I had an oxtail soup downtown Vegas. It was all right. It wasn't really what I expected. It was just kind of different than what I grew up used to eating, you know? So I said, I'm going to make my own version that I grew up on and see how it compared. So I'm seasoning this up really good. I got my shake there, I got my cabinet, and my, you know, I use salt and white pepper. Get it all good and seasoned up here. I'm not using any flour. That's what's different from this one than any other one. When you see me do oxtail, I'm not using any flour on here. I'm just searing it straight like this. I'm get a good sear on it. That's what you want to hit. And you see also they have a lot of little pieces, which this is an advantage. Because these little pieces have a lot of flavor on them. Most time when I cook make oxtails, I would very, very rarely use the little pieces. But I, these little pieces are gonna come in handy because they're gonna give a give the stock, give the soup a lot of flavor. Y'all already know when you're making soup and the stew like that, the, the bones is very important and very flavorful. So, you get that seared off. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step off here while I'm searing all this off. But what I want to do before I leave here and show y'all what I'm doing. Like I said, I want to get a good brown sear on both sides of it. To seal in the juices of this uh, oxtail. Once I get a good sear on them, on each side, I take them off. And then we're gonna add our vegetables in there. We're gonna get a good caramelization on our vegetables. Nice, good flavor caramelization. Then I'm gonna add my tomato paste. Get it good and uh, caramelized in there. Then we're gonna add our stock. And then we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna put it in the oven for about an hour and a half, two hours. We're gonna take it out and then we're gonna add our vegetables and potatoes because I'm not going to add my vegetables and potatoes at the beginning because I don't want my, I don't like my potatoes and vegetables to be mushy. I like them to be perfectly cooked. So we're going to cook the oxtail in the oven about an hour and a half. Take them out, we'll add the potatoes and carrots, put it in the oven another hour and a half. This whole process takes about three hours cooking to get them nice and tender. So anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. I just want to show you the sear I got on here. See, this is what I want. Nice sear like that. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna put the other ones in here. See that nice good stuff at the bottom of the pan? That's what you want. That's a lot of flavor in there, y'all. That's a lot of flavor off in that pan. I don't want to do nothing. That's 
fit. See that nice here, the color? That's what you want. Nice color on them. And this here, if people like gluten-free, this is completely gluten-free. This has no flour in it, no roux. It's gonna have no roux, no nothing. It's gonna be thickened naturally with the tomato paste. That's it. No roux, no nothing in this. It's gonna be totally natural soup. So anyway, I will be back when I get all these seared and go to the next step. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, these are seared off. We're gonna take these out. Right, little pieces out of here. You see that nice on the bottom here. See them nice uh, flavor and all that in the bottom. Now, what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna add some garlic to this. Just add my onions. We're gonna add all our veggies to this, y'all. That's gonna clear all that stuff on the bottom out. All the onions in there, get them caramelized, and I'm gonna add the bell peppers. That's all flavor, y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna add some, you know I always like the flavor in layers. A little cavernous to the onions. I know I love to flavor in layers. That way, everything is completely placed, seasoned. Seasoned in layers, y'all. Get them nice and you see how I'm trying to scrape up all that goodness at the bottom? That's all flavor. Okay. Now I'm going to add my bell peppers. I have three kinds, of three colors. Give it a nice little pretty color. I got yellow, green, and red. Bell peppers, y'all. Yellow, green, and red. Yeah, one overboard there. See them nice colors on there? It's going to make a nice color to the soup, y'all. Nice color there. See how it's got, got all that stuff done scraped up there? See, got all that stuff off the bottom. And in a second, I'm gonna let these cook about, I'm gonna let these cook down for about five minutes, y'all, I'm gonna come back. Then I'm gonna add my tomato paste to this. I'm gonna let it cook down. Like I said, this is a slow process, y'all, but it's very important steps here because this is the flavor that's gonna make your, your soup is amazingly flavorful. So I'm gonna let this cook down about five minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all got the vegetables cooked down, see that? Now you can add or take off whatever kind of vegetable you don't like. Y'all know that I don't have any celery in here. Y'all know I'm not a big fan of celery. If you wanna add celery to this, you can. Y'all already know I'm not a big fan of celery. Okay, now we're gonna get our color to this and our thickness to this here. And that's gonna be the tomato paste. It's gonna give it the color and the thickness that we want. That's why I say we're not using any flour. Only thickness we're using is tomato base. And it's gonna give it a nice, richy red color. It's only tomato base, tomato we adding to this. So I'm gonna mix this all up here with the vegetables. Like I say, everything in steps, y'all. I ain't just dumping everything in the in the pot. And that's it. I'm doing it in, as you can see, as the steps to this. And it makes a big difference when you do it in steps like this. Because you're cooking your vegetables down. Like I said, when I eat a, a soup, especially the, when it's come to bell pepper and onion, I don't like to eat a hard piece of bell pepper and onion. I want it to be nice and smooth where you can have the flavor like it's not really there. Okay, we're going to let that cook down just a little. Then we're going to add some beef stock. And the rest of this tomato paste, I added a little water to it to get the rest of it out there. And I'm gonna have to add a little bit of water to the pot after I add the beef stock. But this is important here. I'll be right back. Let me get a bay leaf here. Okay, 
have some bay leaves over here. Right here. Let me put my bay leaf in here. I'll probably put that in there right at the end. Right at the end, I'll put the bay leaf in there where it's easy to find when it come out. Okay, see that now? Look at that. Nice, pretty color. Everything, I got all the tomato paste cooked down in there. Now, I'm going to add my bee stock to this. I'm going to add a part of that little water. There ain't going to be enough stock here. There ain't no big deal. You know the idea here. Bee stock to this. Add the rest of this water left over from the tomato paste. Now I'm going to add some more water to this, of course. I want this stuff to be pretty much full. So I'll take the same can that I use from my tomato paste. I'm it like I want this three quarters of the way full, but when I add my oxtails, of course, it's going to make it go up a little. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's mix this in really good. That's really good mixed up in there. Now I can add my three bay leaves. I'm gonna add about three bay leaves to this, y'all. I try to add the biggest I can so I can get them out later. There we go. Three bay leaves to this. Okay, I'm turning this off, y'all, because it's not gonna cook anymore on top of the stove. Now I'm just slowly add my out the way. Now we're gonna slowly add my uh my oxtails back to this. I don't want to just throw them in there because they're gonna splash all over the place. Gotta put the little ones in there first. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, but now I'm gonna make sure they completely submerge y'all. That's the key. Because this gonna cook down. A lot. Pour all that flavor in there, y'all. All that flavor in there. Okay. Turn it around in there. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven for about an hour and a half. And uh, after an hour and a half, I got tomato paste all over my thing. Y'all know I don't like no mess. I'm putting it in the oven an hour and a half. Now, after an hour and a half, I'm going to come back. And I'm, this is going to be done cooked down about three quarters of the way. And when I come back, I'm going to add my potato. Remember my potatoes and my carrots? I'm going to add that to this. And that's going to make it a really, really bold soup. So, so y'all still with me here. See how pretty that is? It's already pretty. It ain't even ready yet. Very pretty. So anyway, I'll be back in about an hour and a half. We'll add the rest of our items to this. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. We back here. Okay. I just took this out the oven. See this? It's been an hour and a half. Look at this. Now. Now what I'm supposed to do. Of course, these are not ready. Now. I'm going to add my carrots to this. Just be careful with them when you add it to this. And my potatoes that I washed off here. Make sure they all go in here nicely. There we go. And don't worry, y'all. This is going to cook down. Like, like a lot of juice, but it's definitely going to cook down as it's cooking. Now. Now we look like a soup, huh? Now what I'm going to do... Put the lid back on here. I'm going to put it back in the oven for another hour and a half, y'all. We're just going to let this go. Just let that cook. And about an hour and a half, we're going to come back. And we're going to have a nice, flavorful... Matter of fact, let me do something right quick here that I do when I take it out the second time. I'm going to make sure the seasoning is right. <clears throat> I didn't do that the first time. I know I'm going to take it out. Make sure. Let me check my seasoning here. You know what? They need a little bit more 
salt and pepper. And that'll do it on this, y'all. Couple of teaspoons of salt and pepper. Stir it around in there. Like I say, y'all, this is gonna reduce. You got your color. Make sure this is good here. Make sure this is good. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect flavor. Put this back on here. I'm gonna put it in the oven another hour and a half. Like I say, it takes about three hours to cook this. Nice and slow. Maybe three and a half. We'll check it after three. And see if the big big uh pieces are tender. And then we'll make a decision from there. But anyway, I'll be back in an hour and a half. Okay, y'all, we back here. Just took it out the oven. And this stuff is boiling hot, y'all. And look what we have here. Look at this. Nice, beautiful oxtail soup. Or you can call it oxtail stew. Let's see how tender these oxtails is. I like to get a knife here just to show you. See how tender they are? Let me get my tongs here. Let me get my tongs so I can kind of show you how tender. See that meat? See how tender that meat is? Look at that. That's good and tender. Look, let me show you this one. See that? That's what you want, y'all. Three hours cooking time. And that's what you get. So I'm going to get me a bowl of this and we're going to, we about to see how it tastes. Take that bay leaf out of there while I see it. There's another one there. Yeah, I got one more to find in there. Usually they're not that easy to find, y'all. Move that over so y'all can see. Okay. There's another, there it is. Hey, I got lucky, y'all. Three bay leaves right away. I got them out of there. Okay. Look at that. The potatoes are perfectly cooked. The carrots are not overcooked. And you see how they keep their shape? That's why I didn't put the carrots and the, and the uh, potatoes in too early. And see how rich that, that stock is? Okay, let me get me a bowl here. We're going to try a little of this, y'all. Get a ladle. Okay. Move this over here. Back up there. Okay, let me get a little bitty oxtail there. Let's see here. Get a big piece there. There we go. Give me a few the potatoes there. All right. Let me move y'all over here. We're going to see how they taste, y'all. I already know it's good. I already know it's good. I'm going to show y'all. Look at that meat, how tender that meat is. Mm, this is piping hot. Mm. But it's good. Awesome. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. I had a lawn going off. Okay, see how perfect these potatoes are cooked? Look at that. See how tender they are? And all that uh, liquid that got inside of them. Y'all, this is piping hot, y'all. Do my best to eat this. It's so hot. I love to leave the skins on my potatoes when they're that small. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. See how the carrots hold their shape? But the man of the hour is these oxtails, y'all. How tender they are. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about here, y'all. Get one bite, and then I'm gonna close this video out. And this is a hot. I got a. And this is good, y'all, with some rice, mashed potatoes. You want to put with this? But like I say, this is more like a stew or soup than an actual braise. Mm. Wow. Don't get no better than that, y'all. Don't get no better than that. On a on a rainy day. Mmm. If this is some cornbread with this, and right? Even a good crusty bread, hmm, it's on. But anyway, close this video out. If you like this video, 
please give it thumbs up. Please share. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag? Help somebody. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.